Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm filming the 2021 Ram 1500, but let's take a look and see what's new for 2021. Starting off here in the front face of the Ram 1500, as you guys as you guys see, I showed you guys this once before. This truck looks really handsome, but I would prefer the looks of the Chevy Silverado. That's one of my favorite trucks on the market. These have the matrix style LED headlights with an automatic low and high beam. There is fog lights here at the lower part of your bumper with front parking sensors. This does have the night package, which is around 3,900 bucks. So it blacks out all the uh, trim pieces even the ram uh, logo is blacked out with this front facing camera i like the grill here looks really nice and this is a body painted uh, bumper like i mentioned it's part of that night package but open up the hood here of the 1500 this has the 5.7 liter v8 with the e-torque system it makes 395 horsepower and 410 pound feet of torque 17 in the city 22 on the highway so it has pretty decent fuel economy just like the ford and the chevy Silverado. but shedding the hood here of the 1500 this has the sport hood as you guys can see this big bulge there you have these hood, uh, heat extractors there but walking making our way around here on the side profile as you can see it has the 1500 hemi e-torque badge that's the new as you guys can see it's in that blue which looks really nice so you can kind of distinguish this from the 2020 uh model ram looking at these tires these are a good year uh eagle touring tires these are a 285 45 with tire these are a 22 inch rim design i like this rim design i like the multi-spoke finish with the black finish here for disc brakes for all four wheels there's your uh, ram badge right there which which looks really nice with this black exterior color and led side marker here with these toy mirrors and above there is this dual panoramic sunroof for about 1400 bucks once you open up the door here really quick my tester has these uh running boards there once you shut the door back the running boards will tuck underneath the truck the wheelbase for the 1500 here is 144.5 inches with an overall length of 200 and 32.9 inches but making our way to the bed here this does have the five and a half foot bed and this does have the round boxes for a 995 dollars so it's part of an option and there is there's a 115 volt uh, outlet in here you can see deep amount of storage in here for the round boxes so just in case you want to put some tools and whatnot in here you can also lock it from here Making our way here, these tail lights are going to be a full LED with the blind spot monitor integrated into the tail light housing. Down here, there is going to be rear parking sensors with black tip dual exhaust, your hitch receiver there, and your seven pin connectors there. Your limited badge, which is blacked out, your ramp emblem there. The 4x4 does have the four wheel drive system. A standard backup camera there. When you open up the uh, tailgate back here, it does have a spray on bed. Looking inside really quick. And the RAM boxes does kind of cut into the actual cargo of the bed here. LED lights, there's tie down hooks in here. Like I mentioned, this does have the five and a half foot bed. But overall, let's hop into the interior of the RAM 1500. So I'm sitting inside the interior here of the RAM 1500, looking at this interior. I showed you guys this interior once before, but shutting the door here. Starting up the RAM 1500, put your foot on the brake and press the start stop button here. As you can hear, that 5.7 liter Hemi engine will come to life. The gauge will do a nice sweep. Looking at the steering wheel, there's this nice uh, wood trim here with the nice leather stitching. You have this pad here to cycle through this LCD display, which shows you your tire pressure, your speedometer, your screen setup here, once you have your phone connected, different messages. Once you have your phone connected, this does support Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Looking at the door panel material, it's gonna be a nice leather material with stitching here, this dark uh, chrome accented door handle. Two press memory seat, it is one touch up, one touch down for the driver and passenger. Power forward mirrors. From a click of a button, you can power forward the mirrors in. I like the stitching here on the actual door panel. Some additional storage down here, two cup holders. This does have the Harman and Kardon sound system. Your headlight controls are here, your dimmer switches, electronic parking brake. Uh, you can. This does have the adjustable pedals, and this is for a household outlet in the truck. You can turn that on and off. These gauges have a nice, uh, clean look to them. The rise around then go with a full LCD display. Maybe in the next generation of the 1500. Uh, like I mentioned, uh, was new for 2021. My tester is missing the heads of display and is missing is missing the rear view camera mirror there. And the air suspension will be uh, tucked away down here. So my tester is missing a couple of the new features that, like I mentioned, that the Ram, the 2021 Ram 1500 would have. You have your Ram emblem here, adaptive cruise control. You have different gears and go through and surprise Ram and offer paddle shifters. But the, rack, the rocker panels are here for the sync and track and also for the volume controls there. Your turn and stock and wind wiper size is going to be integrated into one. I like the steering wheel here, nice big steering wheel. 
up on your dashboard has this nice leather material storage compartment here at 12 volt this does have the the uconnect uh system here which is 12 inch display i actually reviewed the the 2021 ford f-150 that had a, a horizontal 12 inch display which has it has a nice resolution this is does have one of the best resolution in the game this is a uconnect 4 system which is pretty good as well i showed you guys this system once before it does support apple carplay and android auto you have your climate control here i have two level heated in uh, ventilated seats as you can see put in the ram into reverse here as i have the rotary dial does have a top down 360 camera view you have different views here you can look around the uh, truck here this is a massive truck trajectory distance markers front and rear parking sensors putting the 1500 back into park there you have an, a four auto a four high two wheel drive and four low automatic start stop you can also lock your rear differential back there big volume and tuning knobs your air controls and uh, fan suites and stuff is going to be here stability control your hazard switch you can also parallel park this uh, big old truck just in case you can do it yourself there's a wireless charging pad down here two usb c's and aux and a us and two usb ports there's two level uh glove boxes in here which has your limited badge do i like the dark chrome uh, trim here you can press the button it does show you a good amount of uh, interior space in there nice uh leather wrap dashboard here open up the glove box here is damped but in this line with felt pretty decent sized glove box the seats in here are comfortable of course um, they hold you in place. They're not aggressively bolstered. Limited badge here. I like the wood trim here on the uh, cup holder lid. There's two cup holders in here. You can also slide this tray back and forth to reveal a deep amount of storage in here. I'll show you guys the key fob really quick. I showed you guys the key fob once before. There's an unlock lock. You can lower down the uh, tailgate back there. This does have the air ride suspension, the remote start, panic button, and this is for the actual round boxes. So you can lock the key. Uh, you can lock the boxes from this key here. This does have the air suspension, like I just mentioned. So you can lower and raise this vehicle to your liking. Sliding this back, there's a coin holder slide in there. More of that nice uh, wood trim in there. Open up the center console here. It's damped in a line with felt in here. There's a USB port in there. A deep amount of storage in here. Of course, you can probably put a purse in here or a wallet and whatnot. So the Ram 1500 does have a nice cabin. So Ford is doing a really good job with their new 2021 redesigned f-150 but chevy needs to uh update their interior as well but let's hop into the back seat of the ram 1500 so i'm sitting in the back seat here of the ram 1500 looking here ram says you get around 45.2 inches of legroom so this is the most legroom in the segment compared to the ford and also the silverado there's dual mat pockets here there's rear air vents here two usb c's two usb port three level heated and cool seats there's two cup holders here a household outlet the floor back here is nice and flat you can definitely fit three full-size adults and above me there's this massive panoramic sunroof which is around fourteen hundred dollars honestly i would just option that in lifting up the seat here there's some underfloor storage with a dealer install you can probably get a lockable storage as well just like in the uh, silverado and the f-150 putting this tab here there's two more cup holders with additional storage so there's plenty of storage and cup holders back here in the ram 1500 but i have plenty of headroom i'm only five foot eight with this uh cut out of the uh, panoramic sunroof here it does let a lot of light into this darkened cabin but let's take the 1500 out and see how it performs starting off the driving impressions here on the 1500 like i mentioned ram has updated the 1500 here so my tester is missing the rear view camera mirror the heads up display the off-road page so it does have a couple of features that is actually missing but i want to tell you guys the actual price at the end of the video so it's got right on par with the ford and uh, f-150 when it comes to the actual price tag visibility out of the ram here is pretty good i showed you guys or did the driving impression of this once before big side mirrors here these are toy mirrors so just in case you had a boat a couple of jet skis you can definitely see around this thing this does have the 360 camera with the bird's eye view so you always have a lot of great visibility out of the ram here the seats in here are comfortable not aggressively bolstered you want to have aggressively bolstered seats you have to go for the trx but you guys have to put a pre-order in but most likely Good luck trying to put one in now because things are probably sold out. It makes 702 horses, so that's one of the most fastest pickup truck um, on the uh, market right about now, or produced by any manufacturer. But I'm really impressed by the 1500. I'm always impressed by this pickup truck. It rides really good. This does have one of the most smoothest ride qualities out of the half ton truck uh, segment, out of the Silverado and the Ford F-150. And yes, I drove the new. 2021 ford f-150 that had a nice ride quality as well so both of these are right on par when it comes to good ride quality steering in here is really good playful put my foot down the a-speed automatic is really good to downshift and upshift of course 
I don't have a problem with the ESP speed automatic, but this is missing two gears compared to the Silverado and the F-150. But if you don't care about having two additional gears, then the ESP speed automatic is a really good uh, transmission. I have three-level heated and vented, uh, ventilated seats. And you do get it in the rear as well. So I think that's one of the first in the segment. I don't think the Silverado or the F-150 offers that. But just going through these neighborhoods, this truck is really big. So if you guys stay in a tight, uh, tight area, good luck trying to fit this big old truck or maneuvering it through uh, city streets because this thing is really wide across. You can fit three full-size adults in the uh, uh, back seats back there. These also have Rams uh, driver's assistance with four collision warning, adaptive cruise control with stop and go. A lot of safety stuff in this big old pickup truck. Of course, you need those kind of uh, safety features when you're driving a truck this big. But this does make good power. It doesn't make the same horsepower as the 6.2 liter from the Chevy. But Ford has the, well, basically Ford is the king of the uh, half ton truck when it comes to the horsepower and torque figures. That new power boost that I drove that had 430 horsepower and 570 pound feet of torque that makes the most horsepower and torque in the actual half ton truck segment once that truck goes on sale in November. But this the Ram has a really smooth ride quality, it reminds me of the F 150, if not even better than that. You want to put your foot down, your kids are crying in the back, just put your foot to the floor. And the V8 would just basically make them be quiet. It does have a nice rumbling up in the V8. Um, I haven't heard anything from Ram about having an electric uh, pickup truck just yet, but the uh, GMC uh, GMC is going to be introducing the Hummer um, sometime later this month as a uh, pre-order. You can uh, uh, register to get that vehicle once it's available uh, within the next year or so. Ford is coming out with the uh, electric uh, F-150, which is should be on sale in about two or three years. Rivian, of course, is uh, coming with their uh, pickup truck as well. Tesla with that stupid Cybertruck. Honestly, hopefully that truck doesn't make it to production with the exterior design. I'm not a really big I'm not a really big fan of the exterior design for the uh, Cybertruck, but I haven't heard anything from it about any electrification. So I know we have the e-torque system, but this does have so what good fuel economy compared to the other trucks in the segment with 17 in the city 22 on the highway so really good fuel economy like i mentioned uh good 8 speed automatic good 5.7 liter hemi v8 but overall the driving impression uh me just driving the truck around sucks up the bumps just fine a good chassis uh good air suspension as well good driving dynamics good steering but overall, i'm really impressed by the ram 1500 every time i drive this truck i'm always impressed by any of the uh, other competitors as well so after spending time with the 2021 ram 1500 my tester starts off at 59,550 bucks it has some optional equipment which rolls in the limited level one equipment group the dual panoramic sunroof and the night package that my tester has which is all blacked out which makes the truck look even handsome compared to all that blinky chrome that you will get on a different trim level so as an as tested price my tester stick is for seventy three thousand eight hundred and ninety nine dollars i'd like to give a special thanks to dateland chrysler jeep and ram for providing me with the 2021 Ram 1500. You're in the market for a Ram 1500, you can come to Dayland, Chrysler, Jeep, and Dodge. And let them know that Adarius sent you from Drive On Reviews. And make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at Drive On Reviews. And also turn on post notifications and keep subscribing to the YouTube channel. I'll catch you all in the next video.